Hi everybody, this is Sherry Frick with University of Maryland Extension and the Master Gardener Program in Allegheny County. So today's uh, video is going to be about how to prune your pears and apple trees the second year that they're growing. Uh, the first one I did was when you install your pear apple. So this one has been in the ground for one year now, so it's one year old in the ground and this would be its second growing season. So we're going to talk about how to prune and train it during that second season of growth. So the reason um, why we trimmed this back to begin with was because if, if you're planting your apples and pear trees for fruit production, you want to be able to easily access and pick that fruit. So when you cut this the stem the first year, which I did to about 30 inches, it then encourages these lateral branches to grow more. Now, when I cut this central stem last year, it then encouraged this bud here to grow, and this is now gonna become my central leader. So remember, this is a central leader system. And the object of this central leader system is to shorten the plant and also to develop um, two to three sets of strong scaffolding branches that will uh, be able to, to hold your fruit and won't break. So it's also important with these uh, scaffolding branches to make sure that you have a correct crotch angle. You want your crotch angle, which would be here where the, this lateral uh, shoot joins the main stem, to be between 45 and 60 degrees to the stem. And that will help this branch to be able to support the weight of fruit in later years. So after this first year of growing, these two scaffolding branches were growing way too upright and so we devised a system to kind of train this these branches so they're a little more lateral and not going so straight up. Now this one, um, if you look at the way it's growing, eventually I think it's going to come in competition with this branch. So I can either choose to cut this off because we only need three or four branches in each scaffolding layer or I could choose to try and train this one so it's growing more out this direction so then it doesn't come in competition with this other branch later okay so we're training and also um, I'm gonna this is dead here on the end and must this branch must have broken off through the winter so I'm going to um, cut it at a 45 degree angle just above this bud okay so we want to prune off any kind of damaged wood that happened over the, the winter. Okay, so now this one has become my central leader and in order to encourage another set of scaffolding branches to start growing, um, I'm gonna need to trim this central leader again. Okay, so, and we're supposed to cut it back by about one third of the previous year's growth. So I'm gonna go with this um, outward facing bud. I'm going to cut it at a 45 degree angle and I'm going to cut it about a quarter inch above that bud. Okay, so now what I've just done is uh, we're going to end up sending signals to these lateral buds for them to then start growing and that's where my next set of scaffolding branches is going to come from for the following year. And then we're going to do something similar again in, in the third year of this um, a third season of growth so next summer and then after that it's going to be more maintenance type stuff but uh, stay tuned I guess you're going to have to wait a whole another year for uh, part three of pruning your pears and apples to train them for fruit production so thanks for joining me today and uh, see you later